What's up? This is Shanira the Mouthpiece. I am the next model for the Natural um, Hair World Show. And this is my piece to make me stand out. You'll see why. I never knew any better when I was just a colored girl. To be a strong black woman, I had to be a colored girl. Wasting my days wishing I was on the cover, girl. With long, straight hair, skin that's fair. Anything was better than being a colored girl. Some say I'm so deep, but I just don't know. Is it the words that I speak on my lock natural? Someone to touch cause it's so official. It's like the first thing you see when I slap through the dough. Some give me doubt while others kind of squirm. They want to tie me to a chair and bake my head in a perm. Hell no. I used to be scared to wear it to the gig so I rocked my sew-ins, interlocks, and yes, my wigs. My hair was silky long, but I don't even miss weekly trips to the shop depending on a stylist. I just tie it down at night before I close my eyes, and I shake it to perfection when God allows me to rise. But even if it's not your steeds, this is not a diss. Just love yourself, whether pressing and curls or kinky twists. See, hair was not the issue, and I didn't come to preach. It only masks miseducation, which is hard to unteach. There was no fantastic voyage to announce our arrival. We lost our regalia to rags of survival. Fed us Caucasoid images of Jesus the Christ. Exploited everything African, then passed laws to demon rights. See, down through the years and even still today, European images is what our media prefers to portray. It grieves my heart to share what I heard with my ear. My girlfriend said, she and I ain't no damn African. I was born right here. See, coming up, I despise my sun-kissed skin. Now, this is way before dark and lovely was the thing that it was in. See, the stigma is so strong, we still shame one another. We still give preferential treatment to those of a lighter color. The divide and conquer tactic is an old trick of the enemy. It's a derivative of old-fashioned plantation mentality. Other races marvel to them is the novelty. This increased movement to our roots that sparks curiosity, and controversy. But just know that Shanera's not having it. I don't give a damn about being too ethnic or anti-establishment. Real love doesn't come from alterations or enhancements. But I gain mine from true knowledge and God's advancements. Because my God tells me I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Shapely, naply, <laughs> in a cocoa shade. Opinionated, talented, with a smile like Kool-Aid. And it's their loss if I never floss the covers of a magazine page. I know I'm on a tangent, but this is serious. If we're not careful, then our children will mirror us. I know I said I wouldn't preach, and I'm sorry I lied. And if you don't get the message, then God knows I tried. This is for my sisters whose insides cry. From trying to live to a standard that will never satisfy. That's why I applaud those who cut their hair real low. Because it comes from a freedom that only the soul could know. So, if you ever see me with my hair flowing down, it sure make itself hatred and turn me around. See, I've always tried to find the unconventional way from hairstyles to freestyles and the words that I say. So, free and love yourself. Yes, that's power in it. All it up. Dye it red or stick a flower in it. But that could never be until you L-O-V-E yourself. Because I never knew any better when I was a colored girl. Yeah, that's that piece from the future, the 2011 natural hair exposed model. That's me, Shanae the Mouthpiece. I'm out.